Hey flower folks, welcome to Sheer Inspirations. My name is Sheer and I'm a botanist and a horticulturist, founder of Sheer Inspirations, located in Southern California, High Desert Zone 8B9A borderline. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I trained my Japanese wisteria vine along my pergola. <clears throat> this vine is two years old. I planted this in October of 2018. I made a video about how to bare root plant these and they sat along for about six months until the following year, June, when I started seeing growth and in one month it had grown to about a foot tall. These vines are hardy from zone five to zone nine. A precaution is to not plant them near the foundation of the house since their invasive nature is capable of lifting the foundation of the home, especially in southern climates where they grow year round. Like mild climates where I live is also, um, I would be in danger for having it um, be dangerous to the foundation if I had planted it too close. So I planted it in October of 18 in this 40 gallon pot. And as you see me planting here, this was a huge, huge trunk that one of my plant friends had sent me. At the time, I knew that they are very difficult um, to move. They don't like to be moved and they sit for a very long time to try and adjust to the new climate. And from October 18 to now this, it was June of 19 and this is how much it had grown. And this is continuing on with all of the other annuals and I threw out some hardy annual seeds in the same pot because the wisteria was so slow and at the time I had no pergola to train it on but now with this space with the sitting space what I'm looking for is that romantic touch all around the pergola hence why I started training it this pergola is made with fully um, cedar wood and it is going to be trained on it all alongside those beams in the corners that you see here. The idea here is to have it in, a, in an area so when the flowers hang I can enjoy sitting in the swing and sitting on the chairs creating a very nice spring ambience. Keeping in mind that wisteria does not bloom for a very long time. Blooming period is anywhere from four to six weeks. So if you want to have something else, I recommend planting jasmine or honeysuckle on the other side of the pergola if you're doing the same thing like me. So once the wisteria is done blooming, you have something else that's fragrant that is coming along. So your companion planting to its max. As you can see here, I have trained the tendrils of the plant. There was two or three strong ones on this strong foundation of the pergola. Now, sometimes there is a need to also tie it up with a rope up top. I did not feel the need to do that. So I let that be. I'm going to make sure that they don't interfere with my solar lights that are being hung, that are already hung here. So as I allow the plant to train, I'm going to train it only in the corners before it starts to go forward. This plant came from the pictures of the, um, the wisteria that you see here. One of my plant friends was kind enough to share from this parent plant. She shared the photos and I had absolutely gone smitten of what it looks like. So I tried to recreate something similar. Hers was very um, woody and a wood swing. Mine is a pergola with a swing that's separate. 
with the same idea. I'm also uh, very much of a swing person. I think all of the gardeners who want to sit outside and enjoy all of their hard work, we all want to swing away and, and watch our plants grow. So this is a great way of creating outdoor space and designing with your plants that can also be used in cut flowers if you wanted to, but it's more of a nice scenic fragrant space to sit in, under and have company under or just on a hot summer day enjoy a cool glass of iced tea. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!